Hi, Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. And um, I'm happy you could come here from Romania and join the boot camp um, yep. with school. Um, so tell me a little bit um, about the boot camp and your time here in Denmark. Have you enjoyed it or are you enjoying it? Um, yeah, it's been pretty nice. Uh, I definitely felt like I needed a change of uh, atmosphere. So this was really good for me to uh, play better uh, in the next weeks. So I'm enjoying it, yeah. What do you think is the best thing about uh, having a boot camp? Uh, well, for me personally, I think depending on the location, I can. I really feel like I can play better with lower paint uh, than at home. So that's the most important part about it. Okay, for me. Um, at this boot camp, unfortunately, it was was only you and school that was available to come due to this coronavirus situation and everything. Um, do you think it, it has helped you guys as a duo to come here and have had had, had a week to, to focus together? Oh yeah, for sure. I think we are playing a lot better together lately and it's definitely because of this. So I think it helped us a lot. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. So um, you've been in Singularity for a little less than a month now. Yep. How have your time been here? Have you are you enjoying it? Um, is there anything you think we could uh, improve to make your experience better? I've been enjoying my time in Singularity. I think uh, even though uh, we have lost some games, I think everyone in the team is really meshing well together, and everyone is really friendly. Uh, and we're gonna come back. <laughs> That's the spirit. I love it. Um, so, um, so let's uh, let's start talking about NLC. So, um, first of all, uh, what do you think about the new format of NLC and the Nordics and UK being brought together? I know you're a, let's call you a mercenary. It sounds so much cooler. <laughs> but uh, I know you're a mercenary since you're from clearly from Romania, which isn't part of the Nordics. Yeah. But um, but yeah, uh, nevertheless, then uh, you're very welcome here and it's been a huge pleasure having you here and it is a huge pleasure having you here and um, I'm looking forward to see a lot of good games for the rest of the season. Um, but yeah, tell me a little bit about NLC as a league and the format and um, do, you think, uh, do you think it's a good format, it's a bad format, do you think it's um, a good thing that UK and Nordics are together now, what do you think about only playing for two EU master spots. Um. Yeah, uh, I really like NLC. I think it has an interesting format uh, that is really unique, and I think it was a good choice to uh, merge the UK and Nordic scene. But I definitely don't like the EU master slots. I think. I think NLC got to be dropped with uh, losing two, two slots, but except that, it's a really nice change. So tell me a little bit uh, about a day in Bogdan's life or Vero. Um, uh, by the way, let's, let's start here. How do you pronounce your name correctly? Because we know the casters have been trying every, every, every possible. How do you pronounce it? This is, this is it, guys. Okay, yeah, uh, it's pronounced Vera. Vera. Yes. Okay. So you hear it, people. You pronounce the V first and then Ro. Yes. Vero. That, that is how it is. How it's meant to be. Not not Ro. <laughs> not not Ro or Crow or anything. Yes. Yes. People Ma. mix it up all the time. I don't mind though, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sweet child has a lot of names. That's what you say always. <laughs> nah, but um, tell me a little bit about a day in your life, Bogdan. Um, you you said it was healthy to come here to have a change of atmosphere and everything so uh, how's the day in romania in your life i mean yeah for me i practice a lot of league and it's not always good practice because i have uh, i don't really know when i should take a break so i think for me as a player it's really good to have uh, someone to tell me when to stop so when i'm when I'm at home on my own, I obviously could 
the practice is sometimes not the greatest because I play too much so I think this was really good for me because uh, I'm with someone and he can be like yo you should stop playing for a while and that, that really helped me personally so yeah well I'm, I'm happy to hear that I hope I'll hope we can bring you here back here soon again and yes. hopefully with everyone in the team <laughs> I'm think I'm sure it could be so fun <laughs> Um, even though, yeah, it's hot as hell here in Denmark at the moment, but I guess, I guess it's the same at in Romania. At home as well, yeah, it's uh, so hot. <laughs> yeah, as soon as it gets above 30 degrees, my mind stops working, like, properly, definitely. Relatable. <laughs> Relatable. Yeah, but I saw you had a fan in there, so yeah, you had a fan really, right in your I really, face. I really needed it, I couldn't <laughs> really function without it. <laughs> no, that's good. No, so, um... So yeah, um, what do you think about Excel? Yeah, I think Excel has not only good players but also good macro because they have been playing together for quite a while. I think they are a really good team but I also feel like they might be a bit overrated. Uh, they are definitely good but still beatable, I, I, feel, that, I feel that way. Then um, let's talk about the team that beat them, uh, Riddle. What do you think about the Riddle team? Yeah, I think Riddle is really good. They are, in my opinion, definitely better than uh, Excel. So they will be a really tough opponent. But I still, I, I still think they are beatable. But they are definitely uh, probably a, a top three team in this league for sure. What do you think about Northern and uh, are you looking forward to the rematch? Yeah, I'm looking forward to to the rematch because I have some friends working for Nordevin and I definitely it puts a it makes it kind of personal. I definitely want to beat uh, to beat them, so I'm looking forward to our next match. They were better than I expected in the first one, but I think uh, with the way we are improving, we definitely can uh, beat them next time. What about Godson? I think uh, that was one of the matchups where we ca came in pretty confidently, um, had a game plan and everything, and then it just seemed yeah. like we had the worst possible day ever and uh, like a super super bad start to the game as well. So um, yeah, what do you think about the gods and the team and yeah, how do you think uh, our second game of this split will be against them? Uh, I think God, Godsend are for sure better than anyone expected actually. I expected them to be a lot worse than they are, but they are pretty good. I think we, I think the game we played is not really representative of our actual skill level. So I think next time we will win for sure, but they are definitely better than I thought. Cool. Well, um, then let's talk about the, the last team. Out there in our group ends uh, which we uh, played this week uh, while you guys were while you and school was here in the boot camp yeah uh, unfortunately we lost to our old friend Nile <laughs> but um, but yeah what do you think about ends and, uh, and that project yeah I think I mean ends uh, played pretty much how at least I expected them to play they they are pretty good but uh, I feel like we just really didn't have a very good day there. So I feel like next time we can definitely beat them. They don't really, they did not really impress me much, honestly, even though we lost. So I feel like we got it next time against them. The singularity team that came together going into the NLC uh, split um, or inaugural season. What's were what were your expectations? Uh, because we kind of settled everything pretty much last last minute uh, since there was tryouts for almost a month. So, um, what do you think about the team? How do you think you guys will improve over this like split together? And um, yeah, uh, kind of uh, kind of takes uh, kind of highlight you know some of the best things you see in this team I mean I'm happy with the team that I'm happy with the players that were chosen basically I think everyone has a high ceiling and we have a high ceiling as a team as well uh, I think what I like the most is the fact that 
you can almost pinpoint game game by game that we are actively fixing issues even though we did not have a good start now no one is giving up and we are definitely improving day by day and that's always nice when people don't give up and they don't have a lot of ego and they are looking at the bigger picture and yeah that's everyone is a really nice person and really helps us improve what do you think about your coach Tor? uh I mean, our coach is really young, so I was a bit skeptical about him. But so far, he's been uh, he's been good. He's definitely doing his best to make us improve as fast as possible. He's really passionate, that's for sure. Uh, it's actually a really r rare uh, thing to see a coach that is so passionate about his players and they, he really cares about making us improve. And he's not there just to do his job and. I really respect him for that. He gives it his all. Perfect. All I wanted to hear. But um, yeah, thank you, Bogdan. It was perfect. And uh, it's a wrap. <laughs> wrap it up, boys. <laughs> wrap it up, boys. <laughs>